Okay, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, Virgo. Uh, 2023, 20, we get to look at. I'm excited. It's, uh, moon is still in Taurus. It's December. Uh, it's going to be full, full moon with uh, next to Uranus right now might mean something to you. Uranus energy. I was going to do a monthly and they're like, no, you're looking at 23. So um, you need to be, you're worried about your voice. You're reawakening into your human voice. Um, it, it's hard, like vocals, you, you know, that's something you learn when you're young, singing. So you need to practice regardless. So like even like me, like I have a, like a, a higher voice and I can sing, but in a choir, there's the soprano and alto. And then the, I'm at the top row right next to both of them. And I'm considered an equalizer because I can sing both. You would be like on the bottom here on the side and you would be um, like a bass voice so when everybody's singing the words the ends are kind of like the hummers okay if you know what i'm saying like hum la 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 there's um vocal i don't know vocal sounds that you can practice so somebody like me i practice like do re mi fa so la ti do that's something you have to do all the time to open up that those chambers down there okay it has nothing to do with your singing has nothing to do with your throat when people sing from their throats they end up getting that rock star voice um, where your vocals cords break down in there so um, look up bass vocal bass scales something like that would help you open up those chambers a little bit more menthol anything menthol peppermint you got to find out what works for you like i said i suck on candies you just got to figure out what one works for you and then you're going to be sucking on them a lot you know until you find what works okay pre-shuffle was balanced libra being balanced and um paying back your life debts now that's south node that doesn't mean you're in south node that's just something that you're working on in south node so make sure when you're reading the lithic chart which is a totally separate thing you have to google that separately and um read it very definely and then compare it to your north node and see what you're still missing. The light debts, that's either you're doing witchcraft or you're learning how to be on a budget, you're learning how to use your resources, you're learning how to be more thrift shopping, more resourceful. Um, trying to blend in instead of stick out, you know, when you're in the crowd, that kind of stuff. Um, like I, um, I cut back my cat's treats. I don't really have to. He's a big cat. He's not really overweight. Everybody makes fun of him, but he's really not overweight. Um, but I cut back his treats. So, um, you know, there's little tiny things that you can do. Okay. Um, you know, if you go out, you don't have to do all your makeup. That's why I'm like, why everybody's so concerned about how you, I look when I go out in public. I'm like, well, why don't, why don't you just worry about my health? How about that? Like, I need someone bringing me a hot towel. What, you know, but we got to worry about my makeup. I mean, come on now, people. That's not being very resourceful. I don't do my full makeup unless I have a date or I'm going somewhere. So if you want to see me like that, then you got to take me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like God, excuse me. Sorry, God. Anyways, there's a new website. Um, I'll be posting probably there. I don't know if I'm working with Google anymore and that and Facebook. And, um, so I'll post it for you. I don't know yet. Anyways, let's get started. Don't have a lot of time on here.
Happy New Year. Happy whatever. I wish nothing but the best for everybody. Kangaroo, taking that leap. Material quantum leaps. Maternally. Well, we know you're not. Someone might be having a baby. I don't, I don't see that, though. The crab. I saw a crab, too, yesterday. It's so weird. Modesty, self-sufficient. See? This deck is just like so big. It, that's why I just don't use it. It's a beautiful deck. I love it, but it's just it's too big. I, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't like it any other way. I love how it's created, but it's just always, you know. <sighs> Raven. I'm just thinking about them. I've only seen one rave in my whole life. My son saw it. We were, actually when I put the scratch on my car up there, up in Arlington. It's the only place I've ever seen a raven. There's crows, there's tons of crows. But their beaks are different. There's some really big crows. I've seen some really big crows. And bats. We had a bat at my old house. He was so cute. He'd come out at night like we were outside and fly around. <laughs> my ex-husband. <laughs> All the time. It was so weird. It was so cute, though. Jellyfish. Jellyfish are very important. We cannot have our ocean without them. Okay? They help with cleaning out stuff and processing it back and cleansed into the ocean so queen of swords cutting everything out people places and things that no longer serve you getting rid of the clutter you have to if you're a reader you have to rotate your decks okay so you want to think about that very heavily in january what we opened up with um you know january february march i don't see love still i'm sorry Here's lovers. It's like way out there, mate. Probably that summertime love, okay? You might have a thing come in. Love in all forms. A commitment, but you have to make the choice or they have to make the choice. When you're self-sufficient, it's very hard to um, find someone to be compatible with. So even like me and my husband, we live like totally different lives. We like slept next to each other. That was about it. I mean, seriously. Three of Wands, your future. Planning for your future so that you have money, whatever you're working on, um, that budget, okay? Paying back life's debts. Rise and shine, force light, slow and steady. Um, project planning keeps coming up. So if you're looking at goals or things you want to set for yourself, that's why um, if you're in the spiritual world, I set my schedule with, and the schools so um you know finals would be coming up around december 18 so whatever you're working on you know you need to have a break too okay um here's that hangman taking a break self-surrendering waiting for your prophetic um, powers to come in facing darkness so there might be some skeletons coming out of the closet coming in the late winter before spring, okay? So February, March, and then, you know, how it kind of gets dark, you know, it, it's slow this year coming in, the, the dark energy, old man winter, okay? Where you feel alone and stuff like that, and you're going to be struggling here with this hangman for your enlightenment. It's almost here. You know, you, you really want to get that, that, that shift for yourself, okay? A 
I mean, lovers is here. But this full moon in Gemini, I mean, you can try and tap in if you want. Uh, I'm not recommending it. Yeah, here's the moon. What do you know? Seeing through the shadows. So you're you're really going to be going not like the dark night of the soul. Um, it might come up in another deck here. You're really going to be reflecting on who you are and your psychic powers. I don't think you're going to get all the gifts in. You know, because it would, it would be too overwhelming because you're still working on human skills right now. Learning how to be by yourself, making the right choices in love, being patient. Um, lots of questions about the temperance energy. Um, you're probably in what's called the... Um, You physically might still be in the witch's triangle down there. Uh, if you did tap into Gabriel, yes, she said yes. You had to be patient. You're at the waiting hall. It's very dark there, okay? If people are pulling you, or if you still feel strings, or people are stringing you, they're just pulling you to the, um, to the gate there, okay? Nobody can open that besides Michael, first of all, or you unless you fall back down there again. I mean, you already fell last time, I remember. So you need to be very, very careful. It takes a very long time. You gotta wait your turn. Um, it's dark there. That is the cleansing hall. You are being cleansed of all your sins. So you are going to be, every time you reflect on something when you're meditating, that's the moon energy. You're reflecting on these old bad behaviors. Life that could be bad behaviors too. They're not always um tangible debts that we think of okay you could owe mother earth debt okay you might want to if you're thinking about pottery you know don't get discouraged when stuff dies it costs money to have that stuff so if you're trying to pay off your debt i wouldn't recommend getting plants either get maybe one plant okay they don't all like you get something easy like a spider plant they all die okay well that's fine that's okay um you could buy yourself flowers, but I always tell the one girl, you don't need flowers. I, you know, you only need flowers when, you know, you buy them when you're sick or if your husband or boyfriend buys them for you, you know, whatever. But they're not like a necessity in life, okay? You can open up the window and tap into the earth, okay? Nine of Pentacles. This is very, 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 very slow. You're working on your reputation, your reliability, and getting the results that you are after. That is too. You're working on a lot this year. You always want to put yourself first. Yes, lots of headaches. Um, when something's coming in that you need to release, you need to kind of like accept that headache um, <clears throat> and focus on what's trying to come in. Okay, and work on one thing at a time. Write it down if you have to or don't write it down. If you're writing a lot, you know... Um, some of us are entitled to speak freely and on recordings, okay? So do what you want. Oh, let's do a time check here. 13.41. Sexually frustrated. Need to give it to God. Knight of Coins again and Three of Cups again. Or 33. Virgo confirmed twice. Gabriel, Knight of Swords, Michael, confirmed twice. Star healing takes time. I'll accept the Knight of Coins. Definitely need to be blending with earth. Stop worrying about full come out twice. Um, stop worrying about air energy. Lovers, Gemini. Lots of Aries. I'm seeing Aries. Three again. You're at 333. Three, three. Your number's 333 three, three this year. Good. You're seeing repeating numbers. It doesn't always mean something. That just means you're in you're you're in your sink your sequency flow. Okay? Lots of good energy coming in. 
Lots of strength, courage. That is having, that's one of the, look up the seven gifts of spirit you're looking for. I think I recommended that before, twice now. A repeat. Seven gifts of spirit. Strength. Having the strength and courage, the fortitude to get through anything, any obstacle. Moses energy. Heartbreak. Definitely in some kind of um, remorse here, crying. Somebody walked away from you and you're upset. So don't worry about new love right now. Yes, too much fighting and drama and conflict. And you got put to death. Or somebody's going to die. I did see a skeleton last night when I was sleeping. Devil still the witches. Witches train. Here's temperance. Temperance confirms. Gabriel twice. Death twice. He's going to tempt you. And everyone that comes in, he's going to tempt them to see if they're worthy or not to be with you. So, yes, every, you know, you got to learn how to deal with that. Are you God or are you Earth? Where are you going? Uh, most people jump. Oh, they'll lower you. Are you going to go through with this transformation? Tap into the Gemini man, please. Lots of strings. Both sides. Well, you had to go through this heartache and pain. The heartache of death of the self, too. Of your ego. Of who you were. Just become shadows of yourself. Are you going to accept this or not? They'll give you up until, you know, the middle of the year to decide. What are you going to do? Are you going to go back to this? Or are you going to heal and transform and rebirth yourself? That is why you can't get through to the temperance energy. What are you going to do? You need to do this reflection. It's part of the spiritual work. It's part of the gateway. It's part of the bridge with Aphrodite. Okay. Message of concerns, please. Message of concerns. Are you cry, crying? Yes. Yes, you're going to cry a lot. Letting go. That's all the sins. You see how sinful the world is. Long time. You can cry for a long time. It's okay. Oh. Someone's doing tarot magic or tarot readings on you. Hangman Neptune. Confirmed twice. This emperor, whoever this is. Who is this emperor, please? He's the one causing all this strife in your life. Well, Michael cut him out. He's doing tarot magic on you. That's a release him this year. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Just because you cut cords does not mean it happened energetically. You have to do it has to be done spiritually too. And then you'll go through your enlightenment if you accept this challenge. Yeah, you gotta accept being by yourself. 33 again, repeating threes, repeating threes, repeat, repeat. He, oh, he's doing tarot magic. I'm not doing a shadow message. This is your yearly. Anything else, please? 55. Yeah, he sent, he's the one sending spooks, too.
Yes, victory, see? And triumph over this. The transformation. The moth is very powerful. The moth means, I mean, it could, when they turn you into a moth, yeah, I mean, you, 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 but a moth ends up growing out of the ground, okay? And it, it, because of light, it suddenly, the light gets through to it through the soil and it bursts, okay? That's that getting another chance too, that rerooting yourself. There's different parts of the root work. You're still, you're working, you're trying to do too much. You need to, work on healing yourself and that's how you get the answer so if there's stuff spiritually you have questions about you need to think about how that works with yourself with your healing working on enlightenment 2013 2023 enlightenment Those debts. Anything else, please? And it's the Empress. Coming in strong. Libra energy. Opening and closing with Libra. You're at a crossroads over your high priestess ship. Looks like you sold it for Empress power. Emperor confirmed twice. You're in masculine energy, but who's ever tied to you is stealing it from you. And you're at a crossroads over um, something, but he's trying to keep you an illusion over something. You're at a crossroads between the emperor and empress energy, and you're begging for forgiveness. So you need to work on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. What you are giving. This water sign that you were involved with. Who's the emperor? I need to know. You need to release him. Here's temperance on the bottom. 